Good day, mates. Today on Chemistry is Cooler Than Real Life, we will be having an informative review session on the nomenclature of... Wait! A breaking news report has just arrived! Phoebe, are you in the field? Phoebe, do you copy? The elusive electrophile Eric has been spotted! Tuning in to Phoebe. Here on the Whitman College Nature Preserve, we have dangerous and elusive populations of both nuclephiles and electrophiles. Today, we're on the hunt for one of our resident electrophiles. Eric, come on with me. But first, a quick lesson from our informational specialist, Sky. Back to you, Sky. The first species we're looking at today are electrophiles. Electrophiles love electrons, and they accept electron pairs in a reaction. These are some good examples of electrophiles. The other species are nucleophiles. Nucleophiles are lovers of nuclei, so they donate electron pairs in a reaction. These are good examples of nucleophiles. Trends in nuclear felicity say that the lower left corner of the periodic table is where the most nucleophilic elements are located. Nucleophiles are known to attack electrophiles when given the opportunity. All right, folks, we're back on that, and we have spotted one of our resident electrophiles. Eric, let's get in for a closer look. Oh, my gosh. Do you see? There is a nuclear bell right over there. She looks to be really strong. Let's get cyanide on him. She's going in for the kill. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is really rare, folks. This is really rare. This is chemistry in real life, but cooler. A nucleophile followed the electrophile and attacked. The leader group left and a bond was formed, creating this new molecule. Well, folks, this has been a fabulous show. Unfortunately, we didn't get to the nomenclature bit. We'll save that for a later show. However, it's all about the real experience in the field, and we got almost more than we could handle of that today, with the nucleophile attack of the electrophile Eric. You know where the excitement is on chemistry. It's cooler than real life. See you next week, folks.